Hello, welcome to Adopt the Ink Lesson. Thank you for joining this channel and thank you for deciding to watch this video. Uh, I have one quick and set of question on the neurology, very important key fact on the seizure. Um, so let's get to it. Um, I'll show you something when you see a question on the seizure patient, what you should worry about. So a client with a known history of a seizure was found to be in status epilepticus. Which of the following is a uh, priority actions by the nurse? Select or that apply, set the question. Um, in the adapt and collect way, the way we do our set of question is to read any question, whether it's a priority question or a teaching question or anything like that, we read it backward. Um, remember, set the question is a question talking about risk factors, priority, teaching, uh, content, and then basically all of them put together to figure out what is going on with the patient. So it's just a question, it's just straightforward. Maybe, maybe teaching you have to provide, maybe education you have to provide, or maybe a content that you have to know, a key concept that is being elaborated on. So we read a question backward, and then we basically answer the question, which of the following is a priority actions by the net? So. We go with the asked. The asked question is what actions are you going to take? And then we go with the case. What kind of case do we have? A client with a known issue of seizure was found to be in status epilepticus. Which of the following is our priority action to take as a nurse? So the case is somebody with a seizure is in status epilepticus. And so um, what are you going to do is basically a, Figure out what are your pathways. That's the next step. The pathways is somebody with decision uh, history now in status epilepticus. And what actions would you take? So we have a seizure patient who is in status epilepticus and an action you want to take. And what is your content? You tell yourself before you answer your question. So you have rewrote the answer choice with the password. And then before you look at the answer choice, go with your content. What is content? Somebody who is having a seizure, we have to be protective and provide safety precaution. There's certain things you should not do. There's a do's and don'ts of patient who is undergoing seizure, um, uh, having a seizure. So you should be careful. And that is your content. There's certain things I should not do, and there's certain things I should do. And before you look at the answer choice, you also have to define what is status epilepticus. What it means is patient is continuously having seizure, so recurrent seizure, physically. So it's not giving the brain time to recover. This is deadly. It's an emergency. You have to do something to break the recurrent circuits that is causing the brain to go on decision. So first answer, prescription for lorazepam. Yes, you need something that can acutely break the cycle. And Ativan, which is lorazepam, is a benzodiazepine. It's a treatment of choice. This is used for acute situation. We have an acute situation. We don't, we need something that can take care of an acute problem. Therefore, this is right. Oxygen at bedside. Yeah, when the patient is having a seizure, when they finish, they need oxygen. Um, and you have to keep check, check their vitals, provide them oxygen. They may be sedated. They may be like confused. Um, they may aspirate. So they need some oxygen at bedside. After the seizure, you give it to them. Suction. Yeah, they may aspirate on themselves and all those things. So you need something to be able to prevent aspiration so you can suction them. So suction at bedside is good. You don't suction them when you're doing, when you're undergoing seizure, but when you're finished, yeah, you do that. Prescriptions for phenytoin. Yes, this is a trap, okay? This is a long acting medication and you need to check levels to make sure the levels are normal. It takes like four weeks for you to achieve that level, sometimes six weeks. That is why they are for maintenance, okay? These medications are for maintenance. They are not for acute problems. So patient has to take it every day in order to prevent seizure. 
But now that they are seizing, yeah, that medication doesn't work. They were already taking it, and then now they're seizing. That means you need to give it something that can take care of that problem right, right now. And therefore, phenotype is wrong answer. My got to prevent aspiration. Well, you want to prevent aspiration, but nothing go into their mouth when they are seizing. Therefore, this is wrong. You don't put in a tongue depressor. You don't look into their mouth. You, you, you don't anything go into their mouth when they are seizing. Thank you for your time level. Once again, this is for maintenance. Checking the level, whether it's high or low, is not going to change anything. The patient is already seizing. Whatever the medication, if it's Keppra, okay, if it's carbamazepine, all these medication, or uh, phenotype, if they're on it and they're seizing, you don't need to check level anymore. They already passed that stage. Yeah, in the acute problem, deal with the acute problem. Therefore, this is wrong. Remove any restrictive clothing. Yes, you want to prevent anything that will restrict them that will cause any injury to them. This is a safety issue. So remove any restrictive coding. If you don't need to restrain them. So if they give you restraint, no, don't restrain them. Don't tie them down. That is why you have to remove any restrictive clothing on their body to allow them to cease. Once again, the key thing about this sort of question is to read a question, come up with your content, find the acts, the case, then the content, rewrite it, take the content with you to answer the, each question. Don't compare any answer choice. Just move from one to another using your content. And then don't look for trap. Look for trap. When you see them, just move away from them because traps are content that are inadequate. You They're using content to disguise the information, but they are inadequate. And the answers are partial. And therefore, don't let them deceive you. Once again, if you see anybody in status epilepticus, give them lorazepam, provide oxygen, have suction at the um, bedside, oxygen suction at the bedside. Don't, don't worry about prescription for phenotype. Don't put anything in your mouth. Don't check the level and remove all restrictive clothing. Thank you for listening. And please uh, subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Take care of yourself and keep charging. All the best of luck.